Good day, grade 10 learners! Welcome to our second quarter lesson in science, specifically on physics. In our previous video, we explored on the history and applications of radio wave, microwave, and infrared. Today's topic is focused on visible light and ultraviolet. Our learning targets are identify how visible light was discovered and its uses in natural processes, industry, communication, medicine, and spectroscopy. Identify how ultraviolet was discovered and its uses in natural processes, illumination, industry, and medicine. Let's start with the visible light. The only region of electromagnetic spectrum that can be detected by human eyes. Isaac Newton discovered the colors of the visible light through a series of experiments using prism in 1666. How Newton discovered the colors of light? In his experiments, Newton first refracted the white light through a prism, dispersing the colors red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. In his book, Optics, he documented his experiments refracting light. His works led to breakthrough in optics, physics, chemistry, perception, study of color, and its nature. The dispersed light resulted into different colors in varying wavelengths and frequency, having red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet, we can observe through this table that the red has the longest wavelength measuring 760 nanometers, while the shortest wavelength belongs to violet having 410 nanometers. However, it differs when it comes to frequency. Red has only 4.29 times 10 raised to 14 hertz, while violet has 7.50 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. The visible light applies in various colors that we enjoy every day. But how our eyes are able to see colors? Why a leaf appears green? Let us determine first what a pigment is. A pigment is a substance that absorbs and reflects light. And chlorophyll is the green pigment of the plant. A green leaf containing chlorophyll, the green pigment of the plant, will absorb all the colors of light except green. The green light is reflected back to the eyes, the reason why a leaf appears green. The process is the same in other colors of light like red, orange, yellow, blue, and violet. But why black appears black and white appears white? Black absorbs all the colors of light, the reason why we see black. While white reflects all the colors of light, the reason why we see white. Visible light applies naturally in the following. Pigment, which any group of compounds that are intensely colored and are used to color other materials. A rainbow, which is a series of concentric colored arcs formed by dispersion in white light in a water droplet. A photosynthesis is a process by which green plants make food through. And melanin is a natural skin pigment. Pigments are used in paints, inks, plastics, fabrics, cosmetics, and food. The rainbow forms by the process of light striking water droplets serving as prism. The white light disperses upon entering the droplet of water at 40 degrees. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their food. In this process, Light is captured and is used to convert water, carbon dioxide, and minerals into oxygen and energy-rich compounds. Melanin is the natural pigment of the skin. Melanocytes, the special skin cells that create melanin, 
are responsible for the pigment of skin, hair, and eye color in people and animals. The colors depend on the amount of melanin they have. Visible light is also applied in industry specifically on illumination that is used in households, street lighting, and infrastructures. Solar panel, a device used to absorb the sun rays and to convert them into electricity. Traffic lights that controls the traffic at road junctions and crosswalks. Entertainment, where lighting system is used in concerts, theaters, and filming industry. So these are the uses of light when it comes to illumination inside households, streets, and infrastructures. Visible light is also applied in traffic lights where red light signals stop, orange light signals ready, and green light signals go. A solar panel is an alternative source of electricity, and lighting system improves the ambience of a concert and scenes in films and theaters. In communication, the principles of fiber optics is applied. It is a method of transmitting data using light rather than electricity like standard wires and cabling. Visible light is also applied in medicine in endoscopy. An endoscope is a long flexible tube that is inserted in a body so that a doctor can observe internal passages such as person's esophagus or intestines. It is also applied in instruments used in spectroscopy. A spectroscope separates the different colors of light so that scientists can discover the composition of an object. A spectrometer is measuring the spectrum of light. Moving on, let us now proceed to the ultraviolet. Ultraviolet was discovered by Johann Wilhelm Ritter in 1801. How did he discover the ultraviolet? Observing the reactions of a silver chloride, he proved that blue light was indeed more efficient than red light. He was amazed, however, that the most vigorous reactions took place in the region beyond the violet where nothing could be seen. This new radiation was originally called chemical rays but is now called ultraviolet beyond the violet. Ultraviolet differs from visible light only in wavelength, which is shorter. In natural processes, ultraviolet is present in vitamin D where the ultraviolet coming from the sun is a good source of vitamin D, which helps the growth of the bones of newborn babies. In food drying, which is a method of food preservation in which food is dehydrated or desiccated naturally through the heat of the sun. In medicine, ultraviolet is used in phototherapy. Ultraviolet lamps provide many medical benefits for a host of conditions such as skin diseases including acne, jaundice, psoriasis, eczema, and other conditions like seasonal depression. Ultraviolet is used for sterilization and disinfection in hospital rooms and medical tools and equipment. Ultraviolet is also used in fluorescent dyes. Fluorescent dyes are used as optical brighteners to papers and fabrics. It is also used for watermarks in currency, authentic paintings, and important documents like passports. Fluorescent dyes are also used in forensics. The ultraviolet light allows investigators and forensic researchers to examine clues and recover evidences that could not have been previously detected. UV light provides more detail and contrast to an injured area, including bite marks than standard lighting techniques. Ultraviolet is also used in illumination using black lights. 
UV lamps provide backlighting to avionics and aerospace industry, providing reliable lighting in airplane cabins and cockpits. These are the applications of visible light and ultraviolet. If you have more idea to share about this topic, please comment down in our comment section. Before we end, let me share you this quote from Frederick Perrin where he says, Teach them that the rainbows appear after a storm to remind them that light begins and ends with colors. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to our next video about X-ray and gamma ray. For more video lessons, follow the Facebook page and YouTube channel of Exploring Physics with Mom Bao. See you!